Jack it up.
Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights, paint the skies, all because. Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great play. Can they convert? Well fantastic reflex action. And over it comes. And they'll struggle to get it away properly. Super tackle and they've won possession. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Manuel Akanji plays with Mats Hummels in central defense. Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Might be a chance here. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. good and fair challenge Holland that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack then Arabi and now he must score well a piece of quick thinking by the keeper well that's great goalkeeping he read it so well didn't he and a good looking ball attack carried promise but petered out and he's keen on cutting in Marco Royce oh incredible save and he stuffed out the danger Kerem Demirbay well I still don't know how he kept that out Derek it's a fantastic save to keep it all square chance to play it in cuts it back must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. So back in business in this match, and Borussia Dortmund hold the lead. And Bellingham. Targets available, Cross comes in. Can he finish? Oh, he couldn't hit the target. What a wonderful chance that was. Well, I can't believe he's missed that. That was a really poor effort. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Could be dangerous. Kerem Demirbay. Effective challenge. And threading it forward. And he could cash in. It's got to be. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, a second goal for them here. Fluency of movement. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. And Patrick Schick now. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Well, as you can see, Dortmund have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could now, get hold on, Stuart, they're in here. Can they keep it out? And in the end, no 
damage done. Diaby, not what he was intending, bad pass. And Patrick Schick now. So the whistle then, we're up. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Now that pass easy on the eye. Witzel. And now Brandt. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Royce. He made it look simple, really. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. And given away by Dortmund. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, visionary passing. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Holland. In the right place to cut out the pass. It did look on for them, but not to be. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. Now an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Schick. Karim Bellarabi. Well, he's lost it. Bellarabi. And Patrick Schick now. Can they slot at home? Pulls it back. Excellent defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And Patrick Schick now. An attack full of promise. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Just 15 minutes remaining. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And clears his lines. Take it away. Witzel. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. A bit of running room now on the wing. A spot on with that challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. There's a slide draw pass. Well, he moved into an illegal position. Well, he had the vision to pick out the through ball, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. Andri. Went in strongly, decisively. Guerrero. He could pick out a teammate. He's played it over to the near post. And the problem not completely solved. And they need to get tighter here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Useful looking ball. And he's in. Brilliant save. And that will be all for this game anyway. And...
anyone to get off their darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Yes, Bayern have dominated, but on their day, Dortmund can outplay anybody, particularly in this wonderful arena. Wonderful chance! Oh, a tremendous block. And given away by Dortmund. Lewandowski. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Really good high press. It's got to be! There it is! A delightful start to this match! Just what they were hoping for. So back underway. Bayern leading here. Plenty of options. Robert Lewandowski with an incisive pass. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Can they keep it out? Teammate in support. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Well, disappointing for Bayern to give it away like that. Rice. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Hold on. And that's it. A goal for Valencia Dortmund to square things here. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1-1 one, one here. And showing fine vision. It might still be problematic. Well, they survived the attack. And they read it well defensively. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Not what he was intending, bad pass. And that pass could be troublesome. Now he's got to stay calm. Bayern restart the game and that should certainly shake them up a bit Meunier so a throw in here well, Bayern Munich have possession again Not a great pass. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. 
Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And given away by Dortmund. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge. And quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. Delightful pass. Hazard. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, threat over for now. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Zane. Lewandowski. Just what you would expect from one of the best finishers in the world. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. sailing over the crossbar not a moment he'll want to remember a tremendous vision Sané this is Müller Lewandowski has ice for goal well getting in the way superb save and a short corner here Tolisso and he takes on the shot, using his body to good effect. Goretzka. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, back on the way. And a glut of goals here. 3-2. Torgan Azar, a very good tackle, really nice ball, Gnabry, Zane in the middle, not away completely, and they can't quite take advantage in the end, and the counter-attack is on, options available, and delivered towards the back post, and he scored not once but twice, they simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, they've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And it is an early shower for him. Red card. Well, the outcome was never in doubt. That was always going to be a sending off. Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Now can they mix in with a chance? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. So back in business in this match. And Borussia Dortmund hold the lead. They no longer have the ball. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, they keep passing away. It was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Sané. Thomas Müller. High quality defending. threatening hold on that's high level goalkeeping well that's a fantastic save he's such a good keeper Marco Royce with a corner not all that convincing defensively a high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt well he's just mistimed it hasn't he didn't catch it how he would have wanted and well that's the result an effective ball I think most defenders would expect to be booked 
halting an attack in that fashion. And it is a booking, and their approach is nothing short. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! On the scoreline, we see all that often. 5-3. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Lewandowski. Well, that pass easy on the eye. He just needs to keep a cool head. Couldn't grab hold of it. Not a time for composure on the ball. Brandt might be able to set up the chance. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer, and he would have been in on goal. There will be one minute added on at the end. And there it is, the final whistle. Discipline.
Active. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect... Can he put it in? Has restarted 1-0 here. Oh, foul play, says the referee. And Patrick Schick now. Lewandowski. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Andri. Now, let's see what they can do here. And the goal won't stand offside the decision. Well, that was always going to be brought back. It was a decent effort, though. Thomas Müller. This is Robert Lewandowski, and a fine tackle. Sané. Will he finish? And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, a second goal for them here. The attack looks promising, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And Patrick Schick now. And they could get one back here. And these are the clutches of the goalkeeper. Lewandowski. Gnabry! And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Benahabi. Could be. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Serge Gnabry. Really good high press. Can he do it? Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area.
Lewandowski. Struggling to keep the ball. Well, half time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. A good and fair challenge. Wasteful again in possession. Kerem Demirbay. A chance then for the respective manager. Well, into the second half, and it really was a sublime performance from Bayern in the first 45. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And lining it up. Patrick Schick now under real pressure defensively will they pay the price oh football finish and it's very best you can't argue with that finish well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand counter attacking very much an option and it looked like open road for them but up a dead end this looks threatening and a good take under duress there. Lewandowski. He made it look simple, really. Well, Leverkusen, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back oh, into it. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Look at this. Save, but still a chance. Well, they have the ball once more. This could level it. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. A really sumptuous ball. Ludo's in behind. Big chance it is. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Tolisso. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Jeremy Primpong. Schick. Well, oh, that's a well-timed pass. He might be able to make it through. And a goal! My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. So the ball is running again at 2 all. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? The high press was very much on. Just made sure nothing came of that. Fifteen minutes left for play. Spot on with that tackle. Gnabry. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Karim Bellarabi. And here's Bellarabi. Andri. Can they nudge in front late on here? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. And no luck keeping possession. And just five minutes remaining. Gnabry.
Can they hit on the break? One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Mira distributing magnificently. Leroy Zane is in. And a goal it is for the normal mistake. And there goes the final whistle. It's...
welcome to the Zignali Duna Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Holland couldn't keep it. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Thomas Meunier plays with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. to get tighter here Holland can't miss surely there it is a delightful start to this match just what they were hoping for and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now poor attempt at a pass really He's got space. This could level it. Can they keep it out? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. And they need to get tighter. Manier. A really top-notch piece of defending. Schick now. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Andri. Really getting stuck in. Untidy in possession. And a decent delivery. Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. Well, Dortmund just can't dominate the possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Making progress is Royce and options around him. Brandt. Keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Delivering it. Well, still an issue here. Brandt. Can he make it count? High echelon goalkeeping there. Royce taking this one. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And in the end, no damage done. at the back post here not really the ideal clearance Witzel on to Holland failed to keep hold of it able to skip past his man well you've got to conclude that it was completely over hit cuts it back So the whistle then, we're up the half. So into the second half, Borussia Dortmund hold the advantage, but it's a long way from being done and dusted here. Then Arabi. Well, they've lost possession of the ball.
High quality defending. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And he's in the clear. Still could be dangerous. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions. Erling Haaland! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. So, 2-0 now. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Something to worry about here. And able to get a body in the way. And the keeper has possession of it. Dangerous looking through ball. Wonderful chance. with the action and Borussia Dortmund appear to be out of sight well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him Torgan Azar Guerrero Well, couldn't keep it. And this is Royce. Now Minier. Well, the pass not finding its target. Good use of advantage by the referee. Karim Bellarabi. Well, that is how to run at the... Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Pullers. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? But they took care of the situation defensively. Kerem Demirbay. Can he put it away? Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Ten minutes to go, then. Guerrero. And Witzel with it. Brandt. Really getting stuck in. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Opportunity here. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Pulls it back. Bellingham. Well, the stoppage time situation. Opportunity it is. Still a chance. And that will be all for this game anyway. And...
become known simply as Der Klassiker, the two foremost clubs in Germany, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich, and today they meet in front of the famous Gelbe Wand, the yellow wall. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is with me for commentary. Stuart, this is always a fabulous occasion to broadcast. Well, Derek, there's no better place to be than this stadium when Bayern come to town, so this should be a great match today. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Possession one. Leroy Zane. And that's an important intervention. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Lewandowski. Leon Goretzka. And Dortmund regaining possession. Müller. Now the 
shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Rice. An incisive pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Now still an issue here. And in the end, no damage done. Well, it's amazing how fans can be so blinkered with their views. They're going mad here. Oh, goalkeeper blunder. Can he take the chance? A wonderful intervention. Sané. Now with Lewandowski. Still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. And snuffing out the danger. Promising attack this. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And now passing it through. Attack carried promise, but petered out. And the pass could do damage. Sané. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Tony So. Showing good defensive judgment. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Holland. Hazard. It did look on for them, but not to be. And they could face difficulties here. And Bellingham. Straight offside, but only just. Thomas Müller. Might be able to set up the chance. Oh, surely. Watered by the post. Pulls it back. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And with that, the first half draw. back underway with Dortmund looking to find an effective route back into the game Sané Robert Lewandowski waits at the back post well the clearance half-hearted Tolisso Plenty of options, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, Thomas Müller capable of doing so many things out there on the pitch to help his team, and he's delivering in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. Chance, maybe. And he read it well, intercepting it. An incisive pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski with an incisive pass. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Really good high press. He's going forward well here. Tidy challenge. Torgan Azar. It's a good Dortmund move in the making.
Serge Gnabry. Well, nicely cut out. He's got the right idea with that pass. Erling Haaland. And that's it. A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Lewandowski measured pass intended for Zane Goretzka now with Tolisso well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing but then the one that goes astray breaking at pace well just listen to these Dortmund fans they're demanding a winner here and I wouldn't be surprised if they get it Pressing as a team. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? Very quick thinking there. Hummel's reading it well and winning it back. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good... And fired against the crossbar. Well, that would probably have been the winner. It's so unlucky. Is there going to be a dramatic finish here? Let's hope so. Excellent ball over the top. Still a chance. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And that will be all for this game. It ends in frustration.
open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight Dripping lights paint the sky to you today from a part of Germany where people really enjoy life. We're in the Rheinland at the Bay Arena in Leverkusen. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Bayern Munich. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game delivered into the box and an effective clearance well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area here's the initial 11 for Bayern Manuel Neuer begins in goal Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Corentin Tolisso in central midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. On and on he goes. But really sticking to the task defensively.
Alfonso Davies. And close, but offside nonetheless. Lewandowski. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Schick now. Can he finish? Determined defending. Lewandowski. Sané. Is this the moment? And a goal! What a magnificent display in such a one-sided contest here. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. A oh, terrific pass. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. Lewandowski just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. He's given the ball away unnecessarily. going to do here, Muda and he's thwarted him almost effortlessly oh he's given the ball away Muda now with Lewandowski Muda and can they create something well the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Trying to deliver it accurately. And with that, the first half draw. Off and running again and still reflecting on a spellbinding first half performance from Bayern. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Kerem Demirbay. Andri. Demirbay has it. to run at them and Patrick Schick now well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack Sané and Lewandowski in the thick of things oh tremendous goal technical excellence to finish that one off wonderful to have that in your repertoire well, my goodness it's so one-sided 5-0 in this match. Well, far too much elevation there. The low stats tell you everything. The Bayern have enjoyed the majority of possession, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Patrick Schick now, and the keeper has possession of it. Oh, what's he gone and done? 
Well, a chip that went awry. Well, maybe it was the right option, but his technique let him down there. Kerem Demirbay. Schick. Moussa Diaby. It's opening up for them. Crossed accurately towards the far post. It should be. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. And threading it forward. But how well he did to cut that one out. through by Müller it could be for Zani ball is loose but he's bound to be disappointed with himself not a great effort Stuart well the less said about that the better not a good decision from him so the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today Stuart well this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today how many times have they been opened up during this game they have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. It's still there for him. A very effective challenge put in. No worries for the keeper. Can they hit on the break? There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Lewandowski. Lewandowski, can he finish? Well, it's off target, and the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, what a chance that was. He should be scoring there. Oh, a lovely ball. And pushed onto the woodwork. Müller. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the referee's whistle. It go When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
Alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Milan up against Napoli. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And leading the attack today, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Throw-ins given. Here's the team for Napoli. David Ospina begins in goal. Stanislav Lobotka plays alongside Piotr Zielinski in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Space for Napoli in the wide position. Lobotka must take the lead here can they stop it going in Insigne Insigne nicely timed tackle and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper see some progress with the ball at his feet but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Milan have lost the ball. Zielinski. And players waiting in the centre. Good defending. Oh, good looking run. Ibrahimovic, he knows a thing or two about constructing as he gets forward and he has options, can they cover up? And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart Well as a player, you need to be able to change your mind, but he wasn't able to and that's a poor pass 
Victor Ozimhen. Politano. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Politano. Ozimhen, wonderfully weighted pass. Might take the lead. And now he must score. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Milan get the game restarted. Can they come up with a coherent answer? And in from Insigne. Well, the cross was deep, a little too deep. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Now the managers will now deliver their... Well, back in business. Milan trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? A real struggle to contain him. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Can they slot at home? Threat over for now, it seems. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Second goal for them here. Opportunity it is. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. And back underway. You really sense the momentum may well be with Milan now. Slipshot passing. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And there's the feed into the box. Victor Ozimhen. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can he take the chance? And a fantastic diving save. And there's the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. A bit of running room now on the wing. Politano. Well, clattered away. the pass he had in mind oh splendid skill will they get themselves level here can they do something positive on the counter attack and providing width Zielinski Politano, and he's broken free. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Oh, good vision. Making excellent progress with the ball that is... Oh, in it goes! Now they're level. Who saw this coming? Incredible! So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. All even, but will it stay that way? Kessier. 
determined defending now counter-attacking possibilities here Politano and now passing it through a very timely interception five minutes to go Good-looking sequence. Kessier. Will he find the net? Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. And that brings this contest to an end. And
Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And leading the attack today, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. This is how the visitors will set up today. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Jean Vertu starts with Brian Cristante in the centre of midfield. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game! So the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. Really good challenge. Now there are two. Abraham. Well, they get the ball once more. Good pressure high up the pitch. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Offside it is. Such a pity for him. Well, he thought he was onside, but I think the assistant got that absolutely right. second goal for them here venturing forward Mikitarian. there two here's Cristante Pellegrini Tommy Abraham well I'll tell you what that goes down as a miscue he'll be kicking himself Stuart well it's a poor effort but he's been given offside so he's got away with that one. Salamakers. Diaz. Vertu. A terrific pass. Abraham. Under real pressure here. Promising possession, this. Now Vertu. And an astute piece of defending. And a good-looking ball. Just needs to stay calm. Will he? A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Can he make it count? It's still alive. And give it away. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Here's Cristante. Well, not hard to read that pass. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a totally dominant performance this has been so far. Their attacking play has been a joy to watch. They've passed it forward oh, at the right... Oh, Stuart, an opportunity! The crossbar got in the way. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. He's given the ball away. And the counter looks on here. Options available. 
Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. That's what you call defending from the... And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Good-looking pass. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Crossing opportunity. Ibrahimovic. Well, not the end result he had in mind. Well, we know he can hit them from that sort of range, but that was a poor effort in the end. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Just straying offside. Well, Milan are controlling the possession, as you can see, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Very quick thinking there. Sammy Abraham. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Will he find the net? Vital intervention. And the short option preferred. Well, a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. Tammy Abraham. Well, taken away, he won the ball. Abraham. Abraham! Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Sloppy in possession from Milan. Giving it a try. Superb stop. Mkhitaryan's delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. Brahim. Mkhitaryan. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Well, not long to go now, Stuart, and Milan quite simply have bossed this one. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Not really the ideal clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. And the timing was perfect, ball one. throw in it's going to be and the electronic board delivers the news two minutes of stoppage time Kessier and that is the end of the contest and not a
This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Mickey Tarian with the cross. Superb block. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. Mancini. Italian Vertu Sammy Abraham now Mikitarian high quality defending Abraham lost possession Brian Tristante Tammy Abraham was spot on with that challenge. Abraham Pellegrini 
Can he finish? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Ozim Hen. Lozano. And Politano with it. Untidy in possession. Lobotka. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Played over. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Politano. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Lozano. reading it absolutely superbly good pressure high up the pitch now potential danger could it be promising avenue of attack comes to an end Ozim Hen and that's not going to worry the keeper Tristante Pellegrini oh, just couldn't keep the ball Politano and they could face difficulties here vigorous defending and still trying to get the shot off well the keeper reacted magnificently Well timed tackle. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. They've given it away. Could be threatening. And Rachmani has it. And with that, the first half draw. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Rick Carsdor. Mancini. Nicolo Zaniolo. Really getting stuck in defensively. Lorenzo Insigne. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Politano. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Zielinski. Rosano. Another perfect position to read it. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Pellegrini. Abraham, Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Well, let's see if something comes of this. He's got the score! Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Lorenzo Insigne. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Here's Insigne. He's got to have a go here. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Pellegrini. Brian 
Tristante. Excellent challenge. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Just 20 minutes remaining now. That's a well-struck pass. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Lorenzo Insigne. It's a good Napoli move in the making. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Brian Tristante. And that was a very fine read. Victor Ozimhen. A bit sloppy in possession. Did look on for them, but not to be. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Not a good pass. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Ozim Hen. And he read it well. Nicolo Zaniolo and just slightly offside well, nicely cut out can they hit on the break Abraham and he keeps going well it all counts for naught and that is the whistle for the end of the night.
will win the game. Insigne. Can he find the net? Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Who can they pick out? Well, not the best clearance. And a fine tackle. Gives it a go. And fired against the crossbar. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And lining up through the middle in attack today is on a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. And he's taken it away. Might take the lead. Splendid defending. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. It might still be problematic. Well, nothing comes of it. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Stanislav Lobotka. A chance maybe from the wide position. A corner will ensue. Oh, great piece of individual skill. And the ball's gone. Lovely ball over the top. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Brahim. Salamakers. Oh, surely. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? And they keep things ticking over nicely with Insigne. Well, what's he going to do? Given away by Napoli. Kessier. On to Ibrahimovic. And offside here. Lobotka. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Lorenzo Insigne and space to exploit maybe just moved away from the touchline Insigne oh is he going to be punished here Insigne and a goal that will do it they've been pushing for it and now they've been rewarded Milan get the game restarted can they come up with a coherent answer an encouraging move from Napoli to be a oh, really good reflexes and danger averted well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball getting stuck in good pressure can they make something of this and there it is the half time and the second half underway it's Napoli with the lead here Decisive play, Ibrahimovic. And he's done it. Parate again. 
A magnificent game unfolding. So back underway. One goal apiece here. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. He continues his run. A very effective clearance. Stanislav Lobotka. Zielinski. And couldn't keep himself onside. And there to intervene. Lobotka. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Kessier. Well, they might be onto something. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Rosso Neri pushing forward with options available. Kessier. Ibrahimovic. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Now the action continues. And no shortage of goals. 3 1 as things stand. Possibilities for Ibrahimovic. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Zielinski. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. So on with the game. And Napoli find themselves in touching distance now. He has time to play it over. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And an astute piece of defending. Well, these Milan fans are certainly playing their part here. The noise inside San Siro has been incredible. Surely the players will hold on here. This might have potential. Just ten minutes remaining here. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Lobotka. Napoli fighting against the clock and the scoreline. But still they believe. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Ibrahimovic. Well, able to close down the shot. Current scoreline 4 2. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have.